Has anybody ever seen this 24-ounce glass of commercial depression known as the Sarah McLaughlin SPCA commercial? <laughs> With the animals and everything, you're right in the middle of a real good day. It's the deadliest catch marathon. Sid's on the crab. He's getting good numbers. It's a paleo season, all right? <laughs> I'm happy. All right, I'm like, yeah, that's Sid sing out of nowhere. <laughs> in the ozone. No, no. No, why is it not working? Give me another one. It's not working. It melted. What's happening? There she is. On to like, hi, I'm Sarah McLaughlin. And here is the picture of 15 kittens with screwdrivers in their faces. In the arms of an angel. Here is an albino naked gay baby whale that we found in a parking lot of a Wawa being sexually assaulted by Kimbo Slice. In the arms of an Here is half a ferret that Brian Dennehy used as sexual protection on New Year's. In the like TV window, all right? Don't need it. Because I'm 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 an animal lover. I love animals, all right? I love I love I love cats. Okay, I'm not a big dog person, but cats, double thumbs up. And yes, I mean, oh, don't boo a cat. How can you boo an animal you could leave alone for 17 weeks? It's fine. You set it and forget it, homeboy. All right. I got a kitten in spring, I had a cat in the winter, I didn't, I was never there to raise it, it was fine, all right? It was fine, I don't go, I don't have, there's no maintenance whatsoever, a dog every 20 minutes it's coming up to you, like, what are we doing now, 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 it's on the itinerary, what are we doing now, please do not eat it up to me, I'm in the backyard eating poo, humping my own stump, come on, please, please, please do not, what are we going to do, what, the only thing I love that a dog does is when you come home and you open the door and it does the little doggy spin, it's so excited to see you, like, I'm home, I would love to come home and get a girlfriend that excited, just to have her do. <laughs> Walk to the front, they're like, hey, baby, I'm home. Oh, my God. <laughs> I went to the bathroom on the carpet. Do not be mad. <laughs> do not be mad. Do not be mad. But I will say this. The cat, the cat just... It does not care about me, and for some reason, I get off on that emotional torture. I'll come home from like seven weeks on the road. I'll do shows. I'll walk through my front door. There's the cat on my couch, smoking a Newport, wearing my boxer shorts, watching pay-per-view, all right? Like, hey, I'm home, Mr. Whiskers. <sighs> Ta-da. I don't, what? What do you want? I'm sorry. Oh, look who got their feelings hurt. Oh. Oh, loser. <laughs> You're out of paper towels. <laughs> Made you something. And the cat is evil. I will wake up in the middle of the night, and the cat is standing on my chest, staring at me. My cat will, I will wake up during a thunderstorm, and like in a quick flash of light, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I wake up, and it's just like, wake up, wake up. It's my bottle. <laughs> Go back to sleep. I don't have love for all animals. Some animals, I have no idea how they still even exist. Deer, for example, all right? I have no idea, all right? They're just the world's dumbest animal. They're the emo kid of the natural world, all right? They love just depression and getting killed on the side of the road. I mean, how many times do you see a deer like, like wandering up and down, just right next to a highway, just like some big Cure Smith's Morrissey fan, like, this is stupid. <laughs> I'm just tired of every day waking up with these things, trying to wipe that with this, and horns getting caught in branches. This game over, pow, over. 
All right, my dad, he hunts deer, which is hysterical, all right? He gets off on it. He loves it. He thinks he's a hunter. I'm like, how do you, that's not, that's not a special thing you're doing, okay? If you hunted, like, werewolves with nunchucks naked in the forest, hey, you're going to Sizzler with me. I'm a big fan of you, all right? But he's like, boy, check it out. I'm, a, I'm telling you what, this year I'm going to bring home a big one, all right? You notice my bow from last year, nothing special. That thing shot an arrow at 240 miles per hour. My new bow shoots an arrow at 365 miles per hour. I'm like, Dad, I have a Hyundai Sonata. It goes about 64 tops, great at killing deer, okay? <laughs> I'm not impressed. <laughs> have you ever hit a deer with your vehicle ever? It's the most miserable experience. You know what I'm saying? You didn't hit a deer. A deer hit you, Okay. You were not like driving along talking to your wife like, I tell you what, you know what we should do? We should get a pizza for the kids. Because I do, hold on one second. Shh, pow! Anyways, we were, we were saying. Let me tell you a story. I hit a deer one night, all right? I'm driving back from my friend's, friend Pete's house. I'm about 12 beers deep in a case of Milwaukee's Best. Because I'm classy, okay? Yeah, Milwaukee's Best. The Beast. You've had a sip. You take one sip of that, you want to sneeze bone marrow. It's so bad, all right? <laughs> Keep in mind, that's Milwaukee's Best. That's as good as they could do, all right? I'm driving along, all right, I'm in my vehicle, what do I spy in my fog lights? Oh my goodness, the world's biggest deer is running right down the center of the highway at me, just <laughs> what the <laughs> This thing's playing chicken with me, it's, <laughs> it's got 39 horns, a saddle with another smaller deer riding it, all right. I'm in the cab of my truck, like, is this happening right now? All of a sudden, it ETs its butt through the air. I'm in the cab of my vehicle, like, <laughs> boom, jumps through my windshield, okay? It breaks clean through, misses my head by four inches, all right? This thing breaks its antlers back spine. It is now inside of my passenger seat. It's in my space bubble, homie. It's right here, okay? This thing turns its broken neck, looks right at me. <laughs> <laughs> Why, God, have you? Is this in your plan, dude? Okay? At that moment, I was convinced, how could this have been in the Almighty's plan? How could he have woken up that day and looked at the itinerary and been like, yeah, that has to happen. <laughs> yeah, Paul, read that. How funny is that? Up top, all right? I'm the master. I slam my truck into the shoulder. I get out. This thing is popping and locking on the hood of my vehicle like a break dancer on a five-day crystal meth bender, all right? And I go and try and help it. I'm an animal lover. Like, we're going to get you to the vet, little guy. We're going to in the arms of an angel. Fly away from that. Boom. Kicks me in the face. Knocks my contact lens into the frontal lobe of my brain, providing me with a moment of clarity. All right? I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> Is that how we say thank you around these parts? Yeah. Guess what? It's tire iron 30. Let's roll, homie. Okay? I grab this tire iron out of the cab of my truck and I start laying into this animal's ass with just righteous vengeance. Just <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, this is happening. <laughs> Play along. Here comes this cop waddling his country crime fighting butt up to me. He says, hey boy, hey boy, hey, hey boy, everything all right here? I'm like, just play along. <laughs> yeah, just got a little arguing about gas money, officer. <laughs> what would lead you to believe something's wrong there, Roscoe P. Coltrane, huh? Wouldn't ever be the 375 pound multi horned beast snapped in five separate locations, screaming its head off or half its entrails hanging out of its behind. Meanwhile, I have a bloody weapon held above my head, my eyes bloodshot due to some sort of alcohol flowing through my body that should have prevented me from driving this truck in the first place. I have no pants, so don't ask me about that part. That's <laughs> what I call a Tuesday. Hey, thank you guys so very much for coming out tonight. My name is Justin Schlegel. You guys enjoy Whitney Cummings. Thank you.